Hey, good morning everybody. I'm out here at an old school today. The school was built in the 1800s. Um, it's had many remodels and additions built on over the years. A lot of construction here uh, over the years. Uh, it's been hit really hard by myself and others. So chances of finding anything real old out here are gonna probably be slim to none, but it should be a fun hunt just the same. Hopefully we'll find some pretty good stuff. I'm gonna get out here in that old uh, practice field that they use for, for the kids for football. See what we can find. It's a super, super foggy morning, real foggy. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not, but man, that fog is thick. It's um, about 6.54 in the morning, 45 degrees out. But yeah, as um, soon as that sun gets up, as soon as it comes up, we'll get out there and uh, see what we can find. When I get my first good signal out there, I'll, I'll get back with you. All right, guys. <clears throat> Got my first decent signal here. Didn't take too long. Only been out here a couple minutes. Got a nice 86, 87. Sounds like a quarter to me. Let's take a look and see what we got. Yep, we got us a quarter. Still too dark to really get a good look at it, but it looks like a state quarter. I'll take it. All right, guys, I got my second signal. This one here is coming in 51, 52. I'm going to take a look and see what we got here. <clears throat> I reviewed the, the video footage for that first dig on that quarter just to make sure I had my angles right for you guys so you could see what was going on. And I noticed it was still a bit dark. Um, I'm able to see out here, but for some reason the, the video is a little darker than, than what I thought it would be. Hopefully you guys will be able to see what's going on with this one. Boy, is that thing mangled. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That is one mangled spoon. All twisted up. Pretty cool find. Maybe from a lawnmower or something, I don't know. All right guys, on to the next one. Okay guys, got another signal here. This one's ringing in mid to high 70s. A little bit deeper, about six inches or so it looks like. Now in a field like this, because the kids do use this field for football practice, and they play soccer out here and stuff, I make a real good <clears throat> habit of doing a nice clean plug, and make sure I fill in all my holes. I knocked it out of the plug, it's back down inside the hole. It looks like it's just an old piece of nail or something. 
Hmm. Nope, I guess that was it. But see what I mean by doing a nice clean plug? You want to make it look like you weren't even here. All right, guys, moving on to the next one. All right, guys, I got another signal coming in here. This one here is ringing in mid 60s. Actually, I'm sorry. High 50s, low 60s. <clears throat> I want to give a shout out to my brother and his wife Julie today. Talked to them this morning. They're back there in Kentucky. I guess they're dealing with the, some cold weather back there. He told me it was about 27 degrees this morning. It made, made our 45 degrees feel a little bit better out here in California. One here looks like it's just an old snap off of something oh wait a minute actually that's got threads on it i think that's probably a an old cleat screws into the bottom of the shoes you find a lot of those out here in the football field and soccer fields all right guys got me another signal coming in right here this one here is reading in the low 50s Yeah, that last dig, I just dug that little cleat. I was giving a shout out to my brother and his wife. Uh, last summer, went on vacation, went back there to Kentucky, and I took one of my metal detectors with me back there, and I hunted their new property that they had just bought. And I ended up finding me a really nice Civil War button. So I can mark that one off my bucket list. I was really stoked that day when I found that. That was a really cool find. And we got the old pull tab. Alrighty, on to the next one. It's another piece of can slaw. Starting to wonder. That last video that I made with that ring that I found, that first target on that ring. I was joking around saying that it was the curse of the garbage ring starting to wonder now if there's a truth behind that I've been digging a lot of garbage since then got another signal here it's another one of those ones that's coming in the mid 60s it's That's not can slaw this time. Well, I think that's one of those things off the football equipment kids used to practice out here with. You find a lot of those out here too. Alrighty guys. On to the next. I uh, just dug that ring pull that was coming in at 60, 61, 62, 63. Right beside it, got another signal coming in. 
in the low 80s from 80 to 82. right there it's a penny or no it's a dime it's a dime boy this ground is muddy we got a lot of rain night before last came down pretty hard so this ground is real muddy right now anyways yeah that is a dime well you know what dime's better than a piece of garbage i'll take it all right guys i got another signal here still over here by that backstop just a few feet from where i got that can slaw Got a, another mid to high 70s tone, like a penny signal. Let's see if we can dig a penny instead of garbage. It's not very deep, just right up underneath the surface here. There it is. It's a penny. And the reason I take the time to dig pennies too is uh, sometimes those 70 signals turn out to be a ring you know you get the same penny signal as a or same signal as you would a penny in the mid 70s mid to high 70s and sometimes it'll end up being a ring like in uh, my second video I got that little silver moon ring that rang in just like a penny so you gotta dig them all right guys down here at the other end of the field down by the the baseball fields now just kind of walked a straight line all the way down here and now i've got a my next signal here Let's see upper 60s 68 69 sounds pretty deep too try to get a solid pinpoint on this thing yeah it's around six inches deep or so Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at it see what we got. This ground is like butter. It's so muddy. It's still down in the hole. Right here in this clump here. Yeah. What is that? It's got some writing on it. I can't quite make it out. My eyes aren't the best. Let's pour some water on it. Try to get it cleaned up here. I still can't make it out guys you know what I'm gonna do I'll get it cleaned up and we'll take a closer look at it at the roundup what I might have to do is just take a picture of it with my phone and blow it up so I can see it 
and then let y'all know what it is. And then I'll get a picture of it on the video so you guys can see what it is. But it's not trash, I don't think. Looks like something cool. It's got some little clasp thing up here, like it hung on something, like a chain or something at one time. All right, guys, on to the next one. Guys, I got another nice signal here. It sounds real good. This one here was coming in 83, 84. Boy, does that sound good. 84, nice. I like these kind of signals, especially after the day I've been having. Yes, sir. Can. All right, guys, I think I'm going to make this one here my last target for the day. I am just a muddy mess. This one here is coming in. Eighty-two, eighty-three. Probably gonna be another piece of can slaw, my guess. I've been digging an awful lot of that today. No, we don't have can slaw. What we got here is a. I call them a stacker. Let me take this camera off my head so you guys can get a better look at this. That's where I pull it out. This is what I call a stacker. Where you get two or more coins stacked together like that. And it looks like a quarter and a penny. Normally a penny would come in in the you know 76, 77 range. Quarters would come in 87s, 88s. When you get them both together, I got that, uh, what was it, 80, 83, 84? So it gives you a little different signal when you got the two of them together. Anyways, so that's what we got there, guys. Oh, there's still another one. A little hard to do this one-handed. Oh, there it is right there. Hey, look at that. More of the stack. Another penny. And nickel. And a quarter. So we got a little spill here. There's a, another one penny. And I think that was it, guys. That was a good little spill. We got uh, 25, 50, 50, what is that? That's a penny, 58 cents out of one little hole. All right, guys. So that's a good way to finish up the day, I guess, after everything I've been through. Right, guys I'll see you at the roundup okay everybody I'm back at my house decided to go ahead and call it a day uh, I'm gonna do the roundup here at the house uh, this is my pile of garbage that I pulled out today a lot of can slaw uh, that old spoon uh, some sort of tube or something just a bunch of garbage bunch of garbage out there in that field today what a mess too man that stuff was muddy uh, for the clad I got a small stack of pennies I got what, two four six seven pennies one nickel a couple dimes three quarters that old uh, that old cleat that came off of somebody's shoe that's garbage and then uh, the best find of the day was, uh, I have to say, is going to be this uh, this piece here. At first, I wasn't sure what that was when I when I dug that out. 
Let me set this down over here. And zoom in on it. But actually what this is, it's an it looks like a bottle cap that somebody put a class through. We got it cleaned up. And it says, God so loved the world, and it's got a smiley face on it. And uh, that's from one of the most popular Bible verses, you know, John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So, that's what that is. So, But yeah, it looks like an old bottle cap. There is John 3.16 on the inside of it. So somebody wore that around their neck at one time and then lost it out there in that field. So that was probably the best find of the day. The rest of it, you know, 75, 85, 95, a dollar, dollar is seven and change. And there's just a mountain of muddy garbage. All right, guys, until next time. 